my estimate for the Europe trip was a little off. I suggest you get a job. A summer job. Happy graduation, kiddo. I wrote for the Gordian Knot. It was a literary journal. No, I've never actually uh, driven an asphalt mixer, per se, but um, I did once drive my friend's van to Wisconsin on a pretty lengthy road trip. What, what am I supposed to do? I'm not even qualified for manual labor. James is like a bright, benevolent, sweet guy who, uh, you know, in the context of the movie, gets stuck working at a place that's everything but what he is. Rules. No freebies. No free turns for your friends. No free upgrades. No free food. So just nothing is free here. Uh, everybody has to pay for everything. And more importantly, uh, working in games, no one ever wins a giant panda. We don't have that many left. Bill Hader and Kristen Wiig came in, and they were so funny. Uh, James, am I pronouncing that right? James? James? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, by accepting this t-shirt, you are... Hired. Well, Sorry. usually a more of a ceremonial thing. Paulette's actually the manager of Adventureland, I'm, and I'm the junior manager <laughs> of Adventureland, but in the movie, you'll be seeing that I do, do everything. <laughs> I, do, I do everything. You get a five minute bathroom break every two hours. I recommend saving a few of those up in case you have to go number two. It felt like a clip out of someone's life. All right, the race is on. We have a winner, here's this. Hey James, have you ever seen a horse race before? how we met. I'm amazed at how tiny my paycheck is. We are doing the work of pathetic lazy morons. Please. For those who think I feel. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, we have a loser. It fits into the very small genre of stories that are about the worst job you ever have or the worst summer you've ever had. That turns out to be, of course, one of the most transformative experiences of your life. That's Lisa P. Come on. That ass is a higher truth. Look, look at the, that little portal of light just below her crotch. Right where the thigh meets the pudendum. The pudendum? Are you pre-med? I'm telling you, man, I've had dreams about that diamond-shaped portal. Joel is very much in love with one of his co-workers and dreaming about another girl that's like the hot, sexy girl. And, and like, his, his life is just kind of scattered and his thoughts are scattered. And he's watching both of these people go for the same guy. Hi. Hey. Hey. Everyone really wants to see you tonight. It's me? Yeah. Unless you got something else going on. You're doing really good. I jump when he jumps just instinctively. Where? Where do you want to go? Not the back seat of your car. It's about these people that, that that are, you know, discovering themselves in the midst of real problems that real people face, and uh, and I just think there's no better people to play that than you know, Jesse and Kristen. And, you know, these guys are incredible. He's her age, and he's what he's what you know. Ideally, she should be. You know, it's sort of like just like an eye opener. Fortune favors the bold. Virgil said that. I'm sure, Virgil had bionic mutant in mind. It's really disarming for her as well. It's not easy. It's not an easy thing to confront. So she goes with it and ultimately it's, it's pretty, it's a sweet story. The quote unquote worst job I'd ever had. It's a much more flattering version of my younger self than the reality was. Party at my house tonight. My dad's out of town. Yeah, I'm invited. Yep. That's why I'm telling you. Let's party! <laughs> James, every time you meet a beautiful woman, don't you imagine what she'd look like? Naked. Okay. Come in. Yeah, you go ahead. I'll be in in a second. Oh, overhead him! Look at this thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Be cool with that. I just love the script, the character, and the story. Nice bite, Grandpa. There's a whole corn dog. <laughs> My brother's such a douche. It is fun. Whoa! Fuck that! People are trying to kill me. Get out of my doorway! You don't know what I'm capable of. Thanks, Bobby. Hey, no problem. I think it looks really cool in the movie. It's been fun. I forget to refrigerate these. Mm -hmm. You smell weird? Yeah. Fry these up. The mustache says it all. You've been drinking drugs? I think I had a bad corn dog. Yeah, don't ever eat the corn dog.